Shrek the Third, Arthur's School Day Adventure, released in 2007. This game is for the V-Smile, a children's educational video game system. This game will have you playing as Shrek and his donkey sidekick, uh, donkey, searching for their friend Arthur. Now, V-Smile games are certainly known for their digital speech, but this one had probably the most voiced conversations between characters I've ever heard. This is big. Maybe we should ask someone. Okay. Hey, kid. Do you know where Arthur is? Whoa! Ogre dude and a talking mule! So that did stand out quite a bit. In this first game, you play a skateboarding game where you go around collecting letters for a word. You'll jump over obstacles and do some really uh, twitchy rail slides. With the addition of uh, people walking around and a crowd, it gives this level a really lively look to it. It's quite neat and little things like that always make the experience more enjoyable. However, the game itself just had an average feel to it. Nothing really special, but it was alright, not bad. Next is Arthur's Hide and Seek. Shrek will be running around a village picking up items off the ground and taking it to the proper store. Example, uh, you'll find a uh, fish on the ground and uh, take it to the seafood shop. And I imagine that he's going to resell that fish I found on the sidewalk that was sitting in the sun for a few hours. Ugh. Now I didn't find this game very fun, but uh, it did have a boss battle at the end of the level, which was fun, but uh, the market game itself wasn't that great. Arthur then disappears into the mountains, ignoring Shrek's pleads to return. Why isn't he listening to Shrek? I, I don't know. So you run around on these uh, platformy cliff things and... Uh a V-Smile role-playing game? Really? Wow. Okay, so uh, you have a certain amount of time in these battles to perform an action. Uh, example, matching a word with a picture. If correct, a uh, member of your party will attack an enemy. Now again, I thought this was really neat. I've never seen a role-playing game type game for the V-Smile. Unfortunately, it's really short, and that's too bad. I really would have liked it if they expanded or stretched this game out a bit. I definitely like this one. Neat. The last level is an isometric maze type game. Uh, you'll be learning about number orders, odds and evens through opening gates. The maze had a few dead ends and some baddies to dodge. Not a very spectacular game, but it was alright. You also get your learning zone games. Uh, Gingy Stackup has you building gingerbread man towers by dropping the right answer on the right tower. Example, you would drop the even numbers on the even ginger pile. Stage Hands has you matching a shape silhouette with an object. Pack It Up has you trying to fit objects into a drawer based on their shape. I did kind of like this game. I think it's because how it looked like a role-playing game inventory system. Uh, great presentation. Kind of nice. And finally, Spirit Squad, which is a cheerleader Simon Says game. Uh, really nothing special there. The game also features some bonuses, a photo album where you collect the pictures actually throughout the game to fill it, and Donkey Talk, which is a list of words Donkey says throughout the game, and you can listen to him say them. Boo. Bottle, bow, bow, red, brush, brush, say it loud, say it proud. So there's a lot of great things on uh, Arthur's School Day Adventure. Uh, the role-playing game was the most interesting thing. But the problem here is the games are way too short. Short levels are normal for a V-Smile game, but when you only have four levels in the main game, then they really shouldn't be so quick. I've played other four-level games before, and its lengths have always felt fine, but this one just needed a little more time stretching. Overall, there's some nice games on here, great graphics, and it's great to see some lively conversation between characters. But again, unfortunately, there's just not much playtime to take it all in and enjoy it. Anyway, there you have it, Shrek the Third, Arthur's School Day Adventure. Thanks for watching.